Squirrel World of YouTube. I'm here. Some more funny moments with Arch. Because I need a good damn laugh. And due to the dream I had this morning, a while of my old teacher man visiting me in a dream blew my mind. Started reminiscing back into some old school pranks that I had gotten myself into. But I didn't do a good job, but I got caught. But I didn't care. But I'll tell you, man. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know, man. I can't stop laughing about it. And I want to do a couple. One of them was from Monty Tech, where I went to school with that <clears throat> teacher, Mr. Civitrees. And, uh... I mean, it got to the point when I was, like I was saying before in my other video on how I was trying to get the merits and everything, and a couple things came up that I did in my freshman year that, yeah, people got to know me really well and, you know, started to not like me because I do some asinine things, but it was all good. Good fun, good fun. But I mean, I looked like the throw out a couple before I went to high school in BF and me and a few of my buddies Adam Paul, Chris Kilwack <clears throat> and uh, oh hell even my buddy Jason Madison <clears throat> he was at this stage in our lives so we started to pick up stink bombs <laughs> oh shit, them were the days, man. First, there you go, they, we, we used to have this, I'll have to do a video on that, this little novelty shop. Oh man, he had all the gags you can imagine. And of course, me and my buddies always scrape up the loot to go get some. Stink bombs are the best. For one, you, one of them was a round ball, looked like a jawbreaker with a friggin literally with a wick sticking out of it you light it and it smokes up the whole friggin <laughs> oh shit if only i had cameras back day back in the day video and instead of them big bulky bulky hand cams i'm sure everybody would have a kick out of that but yeah all the teachers and shit in school didn't like it too much and that led me to believe, and I got to thinking back into that with, you know, why Monty Tech took me in and put me in the buildings and ground shop. You know what? I kind of deserved it. <laughs> so say, because all the chaos me and my friends caused. But whatever. Back in my day, you could get away with that shit and have a laugh. These days, man, forget it. But the smoke bomb incident. Oh my God, I didn't know them things could blow out a toilet. <laughs> I lit that son of a bitch, but it started like sparking, so I thought it was gonna explode. And it was gonna And damn, I threw it in the toilet. My buddy's like, throw it in the toilet. And we thought it was literally going to blow up because we thought it was a friggin'. It looked like a tiny little miniature bomb because it was new when we just had got it. So, yeah, we're trying it out. But, yeah, well, you know, we threw it in the toilet. That sucker didn't go out. Then all of a sudden, the bathroom, phew, the toilet started filling up with smoke. <laughs> oh, shit, what a time, what a time. I mean, we didn't run out of the bathroom because we didn't want to look suspicious, but that didn't help. We walked to our seat, back to our trays, and started eating, but one of the cafeteria <laughs> ladies, mind you, saw us coming out, and that whole calf man started blowing up with smoke. I mean, Jesus Christ, it looks like a friggin' tear gas got thrown in the friggin' school. We didn't know it was going to do that. <laughs> Oh, we just sat there, ate, everybody else started screaming, all the kids, and ah! Thinking we're getting attacked or a bomb or something happening. The lunch ladies are screaming. 
And the one that seen us, mind you, fucking started pointing the finger. They did it, they did it, yeah. Oh, man, what, what a fucking day that was. We all got sent to the fucking office. We all got the, no, I think we got suspended for two or three days, but... Oh, hell, man, if I can get a laugh out of it for today, man. That was some shit. And then we had another... Then we had to move on to the next one, which was a little glass vial. And it was filled with liquid. And oh my God, one of my friends, the friggin' idiot, <laughs> broke it in his car one time. And <laughs> because we used to go throw that shit in restaurants and shit. <laughs> oh, that bathroom, it was a stink bomb. Stunk like literally mean shit. So we ended up going into school one day with that and BF. I mean, we, we had them from, you know, middle school and went up into high school with them. But they, they the guy ended up retiring or whatever and stopped selling them, blah, blah, blah. And I don't even know where the frig you can buy them anymore. But I had one in the bathroom, of course. Asked the teacher, can I go to the bathroom? Of course, the damn hall started stinking out. What was her name? Mrs. Hurley, I think it was. Oh, my God. As soon as that bathroom started, the hallway started stinking from the bathroom. And I'm sitting there in back doing my homework, giggling like a fucking schoolgirl. <laughs> Thinking I'm not going to get caught with this one. And what was the first thing this teacher says? I came. What did you do out there? I'm like, me? I didn't do nothing. And we got into this big argument, and I'm saying, well, how do you know a kid didn't just go to the bathroom? And then she goes, oh, no, 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 you're not going to play that one on me. And, oh, my God, I got called to the office. I fought with the principal on that one, too. So how do you know another kid didn't go down there? And back then, of course, they didn't have video cameras, so I fought that, you know, security cameras like they do these days, and they reach out to kids, but... Oh, I fought that one, but I still, I ended up with a detention. I didn't get suspended this round, so I was like, ha, ah, fucking bastards. <laughs> when I couldn't stop friggin' dying. And, you know, oh, sparking up all them old memories, man. Shit. Now, money, tech. Oh, boy. Uh, that story. Uh, what the hell was it? Uh-oh. A little brain fart earlier. <laughs> All this damn commotion going on, trying to think of something to talk about, because I need a damn laugh. I'm, I'm hoping to make someone laugh with me, but. Oh, yeah. Well, Monty Tech, what the hell is that? Oh, give me a minute. I gotta go back in my head and think what the hell I was gonna say. Because it was a good one. Ah, uh, shit. Here we go. Forgetful Jones. Eh. If anybody remembers that old cartoon. What the hell was I was going to say? Oh, boy. Might have been... Ah, <laughs> oh, damn you, son of a bitch. I forgot what I was going to say. Anyways, I'll look over here some... Funny looking foot. I think the rabbit's been out. Let's get these damn footprints once in a while. Some wild animal. Something over here. Pug jumped around. And hopefully the story comes in my head in a few minutes. What the hell? Thing didn't go too far. Dog. Anyways, what the hell was I gonna say about money tech? Money tech. Money tech. Because like I said, it sparked the memory and now it's gone. <laughs> Got into them other two stories too much. That was funny shit. Uh, every time I did them stink, stink bombs, man, they always come to me. Got to the point, yeah, I couldn't even do it no more because they freaking call me the. One day, someone literally did blow one off that I didn't do. And uh, I got called to the office. That was another thing I forgot. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Every time a stink bomb would go off, and it wasn't me. 
I'd get in trouble for it. So I think kids did that on purpose. And I remember what I was going to say. Money Tech. In my wild year, ninth year, I was uh, taking the bus home. And like I said, I made a reputation for myself in the ninth grade. So, <laughs> taking a bus home and there's a bunch of, now mind you, I did get a little picked on back in the day and I uh, bullied. But I fought back and did what I had to do. But these kids were aggravating me on the bus. And, uh... Somehow I got my hands on a package of matches. And I, I don't know what the hell, I forget what the hell I had them in my pocket for. But I was literally carrying some and I was like, hmm, pricks wanna fuck with me, huh? So we got <laughs> the bus leaves the school. I think we got maybe, uh, say so, uh, if anybody local knows Monty Tech, been there since 1963. I got to maybe to a factory near the uh, bridge of the, all the uh, diner there, or the log cabin bar. And there's a uh, triangle there that <clears throat> goes completely like in a circle. And around that area, these kids were fucking pissing me off, so I took the matches and lit them. And I was <laughs> kids like, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing, man? Don't you know? I said, oh, you want to mess with me, huh? I think I was going to throw them at them. But I burnt my finger because they lit so fast. Now, I'm not a smoker and I don't do much shit with matches. So me playing with matches, <laughs> I can figure out what the hell that looks like. Literally burnt my fingers and I threw it on the bus. And then the whole pack freaking sparked up. And the uh, bus driver was a friggin' Spanish lady. She didn't speak much English, mind you. But literally, all of a sudden, this big friggin' fire, boof, it just like exploded, and the lady caught it. And all you could hear was, She's calling me a bendejo. Oh my God, when we got down by the log cabin, she turned that friggin' bus in that corner area, triangle area, and spun that shit. She was whipping around the corners, <laughs> swearing at me in Spanish. And you fucking met that whole head up on that thing. She swore all the way back to the school. And when this was going on and the bus was getting turned around, the whole bus, not just one student, not just two students, not ten, but the whole 20 kids on the bus all said at the same time, Oh, fucking Archie! No. <laughs> oh, fucking Archie! <laughs> I was sitting there laughing my ass off. I couldn't help but laugh my ass off because that Spanish woman was making me piss my fucking pants because I couldn't understand the word she was saying and all you could hear what about I know, what about I know? And I knew the word pendejo, so... <laughs> for my friends and shit. <laughs> Everybody's like, you son of a bitch, you're a fucking asshole, you're a prick. I just kept laughing my ass off. Whatever, guy. <laughs> oh, man, I hope he made you laugh. I laughed. I needed a laugh. I got a brain fart there a minute ago, but damn. Three little rowdy things I did back in school. Now that I... That dream this morning, man, brought a head rush through all of that. And like I said, with the demerits and the friggin' <laughs> all that teacher stuff and why I got sent to the friggin' shop called the Zoo Crew, well, you can take a reason why. <laughs> when I go back in time and do that all over again, you're damn right I would. Well, my son planning out a bird here today, friggin'. Scoffed at a job I've been doing, but nice kid. Got to make the uh, seagull home free here. But other than that, will the YouTube be safe? Take care. I got a friggin' thousand stories to come out with. And when I get a good laugh, and I know you will too, hopefully I'll get them out. I just got to go back and spark them up again. Something's got to spark them up. 
after the teacher ordeal this morning, man, a lot of shit's been rushing through my head, but other than that, till that next video, World of You 2, out.